Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, half past five uh, in the UK on uh, twenty on the twenty fourth Friday, the twenty fourth of September. Uh, and uh, since I did uh, a video, I think Monday or Tuesday, I thought the market would bounce from this uh, mega oversold buy sell ratio on uh, Vectorvest USA. Uh, that's what's happened. Uh, the uh, short term trend for the last couple of days is up. Uh, and uh, the underlying trend is still down uh, and uh, we've got the longest term measure of the trend on Vectorvest US uh, is still down. Uh, let's have a look uh, at uh, the uh, Vectorvest uh, compass that itself. Uh, if I go to timing, I pull up the market timing chart uh, and get rid of the momentum indicators have a look at it over three months and we can see the extent of this bounce since this sell off on Monday. Inside bar is always a, a good reversal pattern and it's moved up strongly since that. Easier to see the levels maybe on the 24 hour market. So if I look at the 24 hour market, uh, as I pointed out the last time, uh, from this low, this is an exact 78% retracement of that range. It's pulled back in three waves and uh, as you can see the stochastic uh, was right down in a oversold situation. Uh, I think folks that the, the point of reckoning we're not out of the woods here because this market as you can see is camped at the 62% retracement just here. I'm not going to bother you with the detail uh, but um, if you look at a 30 minute chart for example it's pushing uh, if you expand these bars to 30 minutes, it's actually pushing on that level for the fourth time. So it looks to me as if it wants to move higher here. As you can see, the momentum uh, based on this eight day stochastic has still got a while to go before it moves into uh, an overbought situation. So I would suspect uh, that we're going to get to 4496, 4500 here uh, in the next day or two there is where the decision in my humble opinion will be made uh, because if we get a, a sell signal somewhere up around here uh, and the market can't break this high and the stochastic turns down then we can quite easily see another leg down but it's starting to look much much better if i get rid of the fib now and have a look at the uh, weekly chart uh, that weekly candle uh, looking uh, very positive indeed, although the stochastic up here has still got uh, quite a few days before it moves down into an oversold situation. But that's a very positive candle from a 78% retracement. Uh, so uh, I, I think we need to watch that level on the daily chart. Uh, and whether you're in the UK market, whether you're in the uh, uh, American market, uh, I assure you that uh, if uh, the the UK, if this market turns up around here at that 4,496 level, uh, then the UK market will come down with it. Uh, that is for sure. So uh, uh, much more optimistic situation, uh, but we're a long way uh, to go before I, I, I'm going to feel comfortable. I, I've been looking at uh, quite a few US stocks. Uh, and I've taken a, a leap of faith in one of them. I got stopped out of Deckers earlier on. I've just kept it here so that you could see it, but certainly something came out of Deckers. I made some money on half the position and I got stopped out uh, the other half position. There must have been some news today because it fell through the floor. Uh, so uh, HCA is going well. Now, uh, the two shares that I, two extra shares that I'm interested in are, uh, let's have a look at them all. Uh, Snap and AMD uh, and uh, I'm a bit of a one-trick pony as you know uh, both of them uh, this is HCA uh, and uh, as we saw uh, a couple of months ago on ANAT they tend to sort of move uh, for a long time and do nothing and then break so I'm still optimistic that this is going to be okay uh, that's AMD folks and uh, I traded this before uh, down around here from this little spring pattern uh, and uh, made a little bit of money on half, got stopped out on the other half. Uh, and 
that has kept me alive in this miserable American market since March because very few of the moves have followed through. As you can see, this move up in AMD on great volume, it's pulling back and falling volume. I haven't bought into it yet. There's a textbook spring, another spring, much bigger spring. If we go back a little bit more, we can see that there is very strong uh, that resistance has become support at 100 uh, and uh, I haven't bought yet uh, we've had two if it finishes today the primary wave has been up two days there's no green light as yet uh, and I was a bit disappointed that this this move up didn't happen on a better volume I think that AMD looks exceptionally interesting folks and if I see uh, it's on a buy recommendation uh, and if I see it closing above this incline trend line then I think that AMD looks like a great proposition going forward. It's pulled back to an old high, it's traded a, a, a textbook spring uh, and a little bit more confirmation from the general market and AMD I shall be uh, uh, spread betting it. That's Deckers uh, and clearly it fell out of bed today but the stop loss was in place, I got stopped out at entry, no big deal. Uh, you know, not the end of the world uh, uh, just another trade that's square very happy with square it's come off this level as you know my entry wasn't great but I, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with it now and as you can see on that upswing volume ticked up a little bit so happy with that still underwater and this is snap and I bought into snap I couldn't resist it because as it broke here it broke on uh, volume that was rising uh, and uh, no, a long way from the gap volume, but volume was rising. Uh, it, it's a it's, uh, purely technical play, but uh, there's the one trick pony. Uh, resistance came back once, can't make a new come down, ran those stops. Just remember, it doesn't have to go down there that much because of the spread. All those people will be nailed. And uh, that's moving up very nicely indeed. I bought that yesterday. Uh, I was in Belfast yesterday. Uh, uh, meeting uh, Belfast clients. It was a great evening uh, and I bought it in the hotel just before uh, 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 Paul Kelly from Belfast picked me up. Uh, if you can hear the sea in the background, that's the Giants Causeway and County Antrim in the background. Uh, the sea at the Giants Causeway uh, spending the weekend up here. Uh, so uh, this uh, it's a purely technical play uh, and, and based on uh, Richard Wyckoff's uh, uh, spring setup, which is only a small part of what Wyckoff taught, but it, it's a part, as I've told you many times, has kept me fed and watered for many, many, many years. Uh, so uh, quite happy with that. So in Snap and uh, HCA, just uh, not uh, AMD, just needs to give me a little bit uh, more of a smile. Uh, and I'll be buying into that as well. As you can see, Snap is a, a purely technical play. All right. Uh, I want now to look at the gold market, and as you've probably seen, the gold market stopped me out again. I bought into it. I'll tell you exactly. I bought into it. Uh, I had a $15 stop loss, and. Uh, on this spike up on FOMC day, it made as much as I'd risk. So I made uh, half a percent on that. I risked one percent uh, and got out when I'd made as much as I'd risked on half the position, got the stop loss to entry, and I got stopped out of this yesterday. Nothing's changed, and I shall be buying into this again if I get a signal. It's still down at that level. This is just noise as far as I'm concerned. I haven't bought into the euro dollar, but I'm still watching it and watching it closely. Uh, and uh, this frequently happens uh, on swing trades, folks. If you get in at the right place, uh, it comes back and runs the stops a couple of times. It's accumulation, and uh, that's the price uh, of uh, waiting uh, and to get a big one. Sooner or later, I'll get a big one. Uh, uh, maybe that's optimistic thinking, but that's the way I'm made. Uh, so if, if we uh, have a look now at VectorVest UK, and in VectorVest UK, uh, I, I know you're going to get bored now, but I haven't done anything at all. I'm watching uh, three stocks. As you can see, we've got a green light uh, on VectorVest UK. The FTSE's off a little bit today, but nevertheless, uh, we have an up-up situ up, up situation. We've got a confirmed up. That didn't uh, change. 
very got very close to it on one occasion as the MTI went down to one, but we're now back up at 110 again, uh, and a buy sell ratio didn't get down to one. So the UK market in this instance uh, much stronger than the American market. And uh, these are uh, this is Polar, Sylvania Platinum, and Jubilee Metals. Uh, these are companies uh, that I've got my eye on, uh, and if we uh, chart these. Uh, that's uh, again the one trick pony in uh, Polar Capital Holdings uh, and uh, my strategy there, uh, I was tempted here, uh, my strategy is to in fact uh, wait for uh, uh, it to go on a vector vest buy signal or a more emphatic close above that level. I was tempted but I haven't done anything uh, and uh, uh, this is SLP. Uh, and uh, SLP finding a great deal of support around these levels. Let's get a longer chart. And uh, 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 this pullback now at a 50% of this uh, level and a 62% of this uh, sub wave. Uh, I think it, it's on a sale recommendation. Uh, and uh, I, I think that uh, it needs to do a little bit more work for me uh, before I get in there. And I like the look of Jubilee Metals. The chart to me looks much, much stronger. This push-up happened in reasonable volume uh, and it's pulling back. Let's put the volume on uh, and let's look at a six-month chart. Let's take the EPS off. Uh, so uh, we can see that this moved up. And there was good volume buying in here uh, and it came back a little bit at the close. Uh, I saw it's off a little bit today, but this looks very impulsive to me. This looks corrective. And uh, when that moves to a Vector S buy signal, uh, then I, I certainly uh, will be uh, buying into that. So those are the three shares uh, that I'm looking uh, at. Um, and uh, We'll discuss those uh, fully uh, at our Vectivest Q&A on uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, I need to sell some stocks and I'm going to sell some stocks that haven't performed. The rest of the portfolio has done very well. I'm, I'm particularly pleased with Halma that just keeps on going. Lion Trust looks great as well. CCC looks good. So that's been a great run and um, as I said the only two stocks that are giving me a great deal of grief are uh, the two gold stocks Polymetal and Pan-African Resources. I'm still uh, reasonably happy with both because they're paying me uh, some very very good dividends. Uh, still very optimistic in the gold market uh, but uh, uh, the gold market has got a propensity to disappoint like nothing else on the planet. Uh, so if you want a quiet life uh, leave it well alone. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much all uh, I've got to say folks except that uh, this is a very important level so uh, those of you that are cautious uh, will want to wait for the vector vest uh, at least the DEW to turn up uh, and uh, you'll want to wait for at least some green lights on the front page of VectorVest and keep your eye on that 4496 level. A close above 4496 and then I think we're going to go much 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 higher here. Uh, I'll see you all Monday afternoon. Anybody that's not a VectorVest subscriber uh, and you want to listen in then just uh, send me an email uh, david.paul at vectorvest.com. Thanks very much.